examples like this on um, profiles can be pretty difficult because of the very thin steel, it's a rusty area. So it's easier to fill it with the solder. First of all, make the holes a bit uh, deeper to make room to fill them up with the solder. Wash it with the uh, acetone. It's important to get a good addition of the solder. Blow away the residues. Apply flux. Be careful because it's uh, so it's acids. When you are heating, wear a mask. Uh, some of these uh, solders contain lead, and it's not well to breathe too much of it. It shall turn brownish. The tin in the solder will melt and um, stick to the steel. Then use a wire brush to remove the residues. It shall be nice and blank. It's important to keep it very clean to get a good addition. Then we are applying this, the solder. You don't need very much heat. Uh, propane is uh, torch is is working fine. Heat the steel. Heat the um, solder. Then just apply plenty of solder. Work it into the metal. We are removing um, the excess material afterwards, so just uh, fill it up. Then we use a wooden paddle to remove the uh, excess. You can buy one, but I, I just made one, one myself that fits the profile of the steel. Just to mention again, the fumes are toxic, so wear uh, active carbon mask uh, from 3M or something. Make sure to get uh, it nice and smooth and uh, the sanding will be a lot easier. You can sand this with a uh, 80 grit paper. Usually you use a body file but uh, not here, it's not room for a file here. Thank you. You can see more on indietravel.org.